the solar projects, when they go in, they are not using cement or stone to put this racking system in. For the most part, the, the fixed insulations, what they typically do is put in a ground screw. It's like a really large screw that's six feet tall. So rather than digging and putting in concrete and putting in steel pillars, uh, that stuff's so 20th century. The 21st century, these ground screws, you screw them in, now they're rock solid because they're going down like six feet. Then you mount your solar panel on top of those. You have one or sometimes, in a few cases, two axes of tilt to follow the sun. And so after the usable life of a solar project, it's real easy to pull those solar panels and the racking system back out. And then you have viable farmland again for that landowner. And then when you're all done, you take those things out. You go recycle your silicon solar panels. You unscrew the ground screw. And now the ground has been left to rest for 30 or 40 years and is now going to be fertile like it was before humans came and started digging it up and growing things into it. And that's important as because, first of all, they're not using the amount of chemicals on that land any longer while the solar panels are there. They do plant vegetation that actually usually has deeper roots. And so you're nourishing the soil more by having pulling those the water and the nutrients down into the soil. And I've had soil uh, agronomists tell me that that soil ends up being better after a solar project has been there than it ever was before because you're you're relaxing the soil and letting it rejuvenate on its own, which is huge. These areas that are developed in wind or solar are not going to be used for housing subdivisions any longer. They're not going to be taken over by industrial manufacturing facilities. They are going to be maintained as agricultural lands. So that's really protecting our farmlands more than anything else. But a landowner who farms told me, he goes, Connie, I was going to lose my farm and I would not have had anything to pass on to my next generation if it had not been for the solar leases now paying me. He goes, I'm old enough, I can't continue to farm. My kids don't want to farm, but I didn't know what I was going to do. The solar project saved his farm for his future generations.